lots of solar conflicts. Today we're at uh, Mall of America with UB Tech, checking out the latest robot, Gmo robots. Now these are a new line of robots for coding. Over here, you can tell that they actually have a variety of different stages set up. These stages are here to inform uh, children as well as adults how to use a new Jimbo robot and exactly how to program it. Now we have different stations set up including a motion capture set up right over here on top of the screen. And then with each stage, the end of reward is you actually get a coupon as well as some sunglasses and you have a great time. So let's go ahead and take a look. Come on guys. Alright, so this is the first station. So as soon as you enter, you're going to go ahead and get a passport. In this passport here, this is the new Jimmo robot. Uh, what they do is you go from each section and they go ahead and stamp it for you. At the end, you do get a price. So this here is the first section. Is you start off in the beginning. Literally, you have a bunch of pieces and then you kind of build them together. So what we're showing here is, in a way, if I'm, you know, if I'm building this, and we, we're kind of, you know, cutting through a lot of steps, obviously. Right, right, right. right. I'm just connecting all the parts, snap in, and in this case, we're snapping the, uh, snapping the ion. And now I've got a built buzz box. So that's the that's the build size. There's roughly 200 parts in that, and again, it, it kind of takes you through the whole process. That's right. So I can go next step. You know, you kind of take this all the way through uh, until you, you know, you built it. And then we get it complete. Okay, okay. Complete. very nice. Complete. Okay. So that's so, station one is built. Alright, so now that we got past the build station, what we'll do is we'll look at the PlayStation. Over here they have different robots already built. And what you can see is that they are all animating at the moment. Uh, there's different functionalities as you can see on the screen. Literally all you're doing is pressing a button which allows the character to move in different joints. Nice, so we got them running. Yeah, so uh, you want a drink? Sure. <laughs> Yeah, so this set. <laughs> so cool. And this one? <laughs> so are these all pre-programmed? Yeah, it's all pre-programmed. You can play with it if you want. Sure, of course. Like to uh, press any buttons to make them move. Um, same time. Let's do some push-up. That's <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Twist. Now you can also program your own custom animations as well, yes, right? We do. Okay. And also using block coding, so you can do kind of sequence. Right. You want to do this first? Or what if your phone tears left, then you can do another movement. Okay. Like that. And you can also upload it to. You guys have your own. We have like, our community. So okay. Very nice. And also, um, we adding this new act, uh, new function recently. So once you play, so you can actually you can, record yeah, your. You can record it. That's very nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, right? And rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, paper, scissors. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> I win. <laughs> that is really cool. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, my name is Lei. I've been working uh, with uh, UV Tech for about like six months. And um, I was, I am, uh, now I am the gym master here, so I can teach kids, you know, how to do the um, gym robot, how to play with it, and how to code it. So, so yeah. that's pretty awesome that you guys are actually physically teaching children how to build these robots and how to use them. Yeah, sure. Okay, that's very nice. So our goal is trying to, you know, get those robots to every uh, family, so kids can learn with simple, you know, broccoli coding, with so simple building, put everything uh, into the robot, so they can, you know, easily play with it instead Correct. of learning all those C language words. And, yeah. It's very simple and very easy to it's do. Really simple to get access. We have different levels. And, yeah. And when were all these released to the public in the in the America? Like, um, actually, they do. Um, they are selling Amazon right now, and uh, we do have you know Target, Best Buy, Apple Store, different channels to you know uh, buy all those uh, Jimmy Robot. Very nice. Thank you for sharing. So right here you can see, uh, this one here is one of the robots. This is more, uh, I'm guessing it's a bird. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And then there's different functionalities. It's all very simple to see. You can just click on happy and then the robot performs that animation. All right, so one of the new features with this is that it allows you to record your robot while you're playing with it. So I can go ahead and click at, at Q and record them at the same time, which is a, new, a really awesome feature that we haven't seen in any of the new robots lately. 
Now the coding station itself allows you to create your own animations. It just breaks it down to code and then uh, it's really simple in the, sim in the section of just dragging and dropping, allowing you to create your own animations. Oh my gosh! Um, there is some coding. Okay. And so they, it's a. Uh, there are some basic movements which are already here. Oh nice. But there are some modifications. It's yeah, it's just these small lines of code which you can then make to do actually their if then statements or Correct. if this happens and do something else. Um, the, if there is low power, it might be able to turn off. Um, if the, you can make it play some some, some sound. Uh, there are also some sensors which are in it, it's like an IR sensor or a touch sensor which you can then react to. Right, right, right. Very nice. So that's actually a, it's a different kind of uh, attribute that they're applying to it, where you're able to physically uh, write out a code rather than just kind of pre-programming it. So that's really I'm nice. Show you one other thing yeah. Within that. So within the within the coding, if I make a code, so if I drag, I'm just gonna I don't know. Exactly. Right. Just dragging all of these over here. I'm gonna tie these all together. And we can actually go and take that. And it, it shows me the Swift coding. Oh, nice. Very cool. So from an uh, Apple standpoint, they're excited about this because they want people to start to recognize code. You can imagine that we might take this further and actually allow you to code in Swift Playground and then bring that back to, to, of course. Our, uh, to our robot. Right here we actually have a motion sensor game set up from Juno. Let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm ready to go to my final station here, in which I'm going to get myself a prize. I'm John. I'm here to uh, uh, reward people with the uh, free sunglasses or a bouncy ball. We have coupons here and uh, just having a great day here at Mall America. So, Alright, so here's my uh, stamp booklet all stamped and ready to go. Thank you. And it looks like I'm all done. So I just go ahead and grab one of these. And I'm on my way. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that's a wrap. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to comment down below. Once again, thank you, UB Tech, for having me and giving me this general robot. We're doing a review on it soon, so be sure to stick around. Otherwise,